If the Alabama sturgeon makes the endangered species list, then its habitat will have to be protected under federal law, which means dredging will have to stop along the Alabama and Tom Bigby rivers. Without dredging, the rivers will quickly become unnavigable to barge traffic. Millions of tons of cargo move up and down the Alabama and Tom Bigby rivers each year. If barge traffic stops or is altered in any way, a lot of people and a lot of industries will suffer. It would affect the paper mills, it would affect all the activities around the port, it would affect the, affect the cost of power through Alabama Power because of the coal that's supplied across the river for the power company. The last time an Alabama sturgeon was spotted was in 1985, and there is little evidence to prove there are still any surviving fish. Still, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says the sturgeon is still alive in Alabama rivers and is near extinction. Jim Stewart is with the Fish and Wildlife Service. He says if the sturgeon is listed as endangered, industry along the river should have nothing to worry about. The Endangered Species Act is, has a long history of being able to uh, work with people and coordinate to, to let projects go on and at the same time protect the species. There's not the conflict with the Alabama sturgeon and industry that we, you've been hearing about and reading about. It's just simply not there. Folks who make a living on the river are still worried, and they're hoping the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service will listen to lawmakers like Alabama Senator Richard Shelby. Important Shelby science. argues that wildlife officials don't have uh, adequate scientific proof can, uh, that the sturgeon exists or is even worth saving. What we're really interested in is uh, the finding of uh, true science. In other words, do a scientific inquiry. Is this true? Uh, what is this based on? Uh, is it based on sound scientific principles? Up to now, say it's absolutely hogwash.